Hello, this is the War Room Part 4D, my predictions for the upcoming Grand Multiplayer Ranked game. As a very quick update since uh, Part 4C, uh, Prussia has signed that alliance, so I now have a defensive alliance with Prussia. So, as far as my borders, my southern border, my eastern border, and my northern border are all secure. So my biggest threat in this game is going to be Sardinia Piedmont because if Sardinia Piedmont forms Italy, then I stand to lose this entire area. Basically my entire coastline with the exception of, I believe, Senge and um, really bad place for Austria to be in. I cannot let Slazer form Italy and unfortunately he's very good at manipulating uh, the sort of gamey mechanics and abusing things in order to facilitate this uh, national unification. And let me also say that I've talked both with Fuseler, France, and with Slazer, Sardinia Piedmont, and uh, they basically indicated France will support Sardinia Piedmont, basically whatever he wants to do. Sardinia Piedmont makes no bones about it. He's going to form Italy in any way he can, so you can just take that to mean he's going to abuse. Therefore, I'm going to abuse right back at him. So how does the abuse work? Uh, if Sardinia Piedmont declares war on an Italian miner and fully occupies it, but doesn't peace out, that is, they can fulfill the war goal, but not peace out. They will simply drive up war exhaustion over time. Eventually it gets so high that the rebels start to spawn, and if one of those happens to be a red shirt, that red shirt will siege the province, and once that's done, it's pretty much over. Italy is going to form. So I have to prevent that from happening. Now here's where the mechanics abuse comes in. See if Slazer were to simply declare war on Parma and try and keep them occupied, well that wouldn't work too well because I'd come in with my army and keep that from happening. But if he simultaneously declares war on Parma and Modena, he now has two independent wars and even though I'm called to both of them, I can only join one because you can only have one war against a particular target. So even though both of these are my sphere members, I wouldn't be able to defend both of them. I can only pick one or the other. And whichever one is undefended, that one's going to be overrun, fully occupied, eventually overcome by rebels. Alright, so what can I do about this? Well, there's a couple of things. First off, I can throw the first stone. If I can go to war with Sardinia Piedmont before he can declare war, then I can prevent this whole issue. So the way to do that is I need to justify a very quick war goal, which I believe the quickest one is uh, Humiliate 167. Let's check the others. All right, so basically 167. On day one, I start justifying a humiliate against Sardinia Piedmont and the second it's done I declare war. Why do I have to do that? Because I have to call in every single sphere member simultaneously. As long as I do that then he can't get independent truces with anyone. Now the results of that war I'm fairly certain we're gonna win whoever we happens to be but uh, he's going to call in France but France is going to be fairly limited in who they can call in so they might call in UK if there are no coefficients Assuming there are coefficients, UK will not be called in. And uh, there's there's a little bit of question as to whether or not coefficients will be in effect. So if they're not in effect, that means Austria can call in all of its allies. And all of the allies chained via those other allies. So basically the whole Russia alliance chain could be going against France. And optionally UK if they decide to join. But... Um, Otherwise, if there are coefficients, then only Sardinia, Piedmont, France, and some other miners could be in the war because UK would take it up over the limit. So that, that's really up in the air. But the key is, if I wait too long, he's going to declare independent wars, and at that point it's game over, Italy's going to form. So I have to declare war on him before he has a chance to do that. Now the next thing is, I can use similar abuses to uh, take land elsewhere. So this is where I would need the assistance of my friend Marconi here in Russia. That is, if he simultaneously justifies a... If he simultaneously justifies a humiliate against Popol States, I can declare war on 
Sardinia Piedmont, call in my entire sphere, and call in Marconi. At the same time, at the exact same time, while the game is paused, while we're working things out, he can individually declare war on Popple states and call me in. Just me. That means Marconi and I and my entire sphere will be at war with Sardinia Piedmont and likely France. Marconi and I will individually be at war with Popple States. This means that France, should it decide to help Sardinia Piedmont, would be unable to defend Popple States. Basically using Slazer's same exact strategy right back at him. And then what happens? Well, as Austria, I've got a lot of infamy to burn, so I can add an acquire state on Romagna. I could maybe even add another acquire state on Lazio. Now, if two Sicilies is a player, then obviously I'd give him Lazio, but in either case, I'll be acquiring the state of Romagna. All right, so that's my immediate goal. My recommendation, and assuming Marconi agrees with me, will be starting on turn zero, start justifying humiliates Austria against Sardinia Piedmont and Russia against Popol states. And as soon as that is done, uh, Austria will declare war on Sardinia Piedmont, Russia will declare war on Popol states, and then all hell is going to break loose. This could also be an opportunity for a neighboring Prussia to uh, join in an offensive war against France, which uh, the likely result of which would be Alsace-Lorraine going to Prussia. France is going to have a really hard time dealing with Prussia, Austria, and Russia if all three of us come at the same time. Uh, much less Austria and Russia alone. I mean, that's going to be hard enough with the entire sphere. Aside from that, I will be sphering two Sicilies, and as soon as this war is over, with my borders secure, I can now focus elsewhere. So, if they're not already taken, I'll first be looking at Zulu. If Zulu is taken, I'll be looking at Oman instead. And if Oman is taken, then uh, basically pretty much done at that point. I might take uh, Abu Dhabi or something, but uh, uh, colonization is going to be a problem if I don't get one of those provinces. I might go to Acha because that hasn't really been claimed, but uh, I don't know what anyone else is doing over there. So looking to play a continental game, hopefully fairly peaceful, but given that Italy will be Slazer, I can expect to be attacked every five years like clockwork. So thanks for watching and we'll see what happens Look for that here shortly after the game ends.